Hello Dalens, and welcome to another character prediction for Dragon Age 4. Dragon Age Dreadwolf, now that we have a title. So whose character, well which character is it going to be today? Strife. Gotta stop looking there. All right. So Strife appears in To Winter Nights and in one of the Dragon Age Day short stories. Strife is an elf and uh, who uh, tests his uh, metal. He's, he's a captive along with Mirian and their, their joint captives uh, of the Kunari and they make their escape and Strife has a, a friend who transforms uh, to uh, an elf friend who transforms and strife they escape into Alathan forest so and strife when he speaks to the kunari the bastar he calls the bastar bastard which i quite like so i am assuming that strife will appear in dragon age 4 because strife has appeared twice in short stories now and is quite the character his role could be a companion i don't know if he would be an advisor but i would see him as a companion or as a character for a mission so someone who helps you out with a mission or you do a mission for this person but he would be a a, a person of import in Dragon Age 4 for said mission and wouldn't just be the just oh here's a quest go do it type of quest giver w there would be more backstory there as well so that's that's what I'm guessing that's what I'm assuming for Strife I like Strife as a character and I really do hope to see him so what do the cards have to say in regards to Strife and his role in Dragon Age 4. All right, so we have a reversed card and it is the Nine of Chalices, which is the Nine of Cups. So this is what the card looks like. There we go. And reversed. So. Nine of Cups reversed. That is interesting. Of course, I would say that everything is interesting, so <laughs> that's, that's my thing. That's my spiel. Everything is interesting. Okay. Nine of Cups. In the Dragon Age Inquisition Tarot deck, the Nine of Cups is the behemoth. Reversed. It represents overturned success. In one of the short stories, we see Strife following either a vision or uh, like a duplicate of himself, either a past, either he's traveling through time or he's seeing glimpses. So in a, it, it can be interpreted as a vision. So overturned success, whatever his mission is in Aglathan Forest, whatever his uh, purpose is it could be that whatever success he finds something would come to thwart that not necessarily prevent the success but to overturn it overrule it you know and so adds more to the quest so oh we've accomplished this like oh no something else is added to the stack okay we got to do more got to discover more oh something else is added to the stack and when we uncover mysteries, that is kind of what I would expect uh, from a story. So, especially like Dragon Age. Poor choices. I don't know if Strife would be the type of elf to make a poor choice, but there could be poor choices that he's put into, or maybe the Dragon Age 4 protagonist makes a poor choice and strife comes in or maybe people made poor choices 
and strife comes in to help that. He's also an elf. Something comes to mind suddenly. Solaces, poor choices, and then strife helping the Dragon Age for protagonist. I don't think he would be recruited by Solace. That is not what Tevinter Nice was hinting, but it is a possibility. Suspicion. Strife could be suspicious of people. He could seem suspicious. So there could be suspicion surrounding Strife. Is he or is he not an agent of Fenharel, you know? Disturbed tranquility. The, in the short story and in To Winter Nights, the tranquility of Alathan Forest was disturbed by the Kunari invading, the Kunari capturing. So that's, I see disturbed tranquility to do with the Kunari invasion. That's what it speaks to me. But let me know if it speaks something else to you as well. Selfish desires. I don't know what desires strife necessarily has. We need even more backstory, but it would probably have to do with Alath and with the elven people. So I don't see it personally as selfish, but it would pertain to the self in that sense and not maybe not maybe more of the global ensemble of the elven people, maybe a unique group or clan, no, potentially. Self-indulgence. I'm not seeing this one. Would strife, would, I don't see strife as self-indulgent, but he could he could be around people who are self-indulgent, maybe Mirian, or he could approach the Dragon Age for protagonist. Maybe the Dragon Age for protagonist has self-indulgent moments, and that's when we meet Strife. Let me know what you think about sorrow. Well, there is sorrow regarding Alathan Forest. Sorrow regarding the elves, sorrow the captivity, yes, he escapes, but sorrow for everyone else who's still captive. So I see it sorrow wanting to help all the captives, but not being able to, you know, something like that. Irresponsibility. Strife is not irresponsible, but there could be the global ensemble irresponsibility of certain people, maybe of the clan and, or maybe of the Dragon Age 4 protagonist. It's not a very positive reading. So, so far, everything regarding Strife and his role in Dragon Age 4, there's going to be conflict and turmoil and sorrow when he comes in, not necessarily that he brings it, but that when we meet him, there is this going on. I'm guessing around Alathan Forest, because that's where he was last seen, but in regards to the elven people, in regards to the Kunari invasion. Maybe on a positive note, it means the Kunari get irresponsible and it, we can take advantage of that but I, I doubt that. Squandered future. Squandered future doesn't necessarily mean that people die, but people will die in Dragon Age 4, like people have died in all the other games. But squandered future, you're given a future, you're given an opportunity, and then you squander it. You throw it out, you do something else, you know. Could it be Strife who's squandering an opportunity, a future, or is it that we, the Dragon Age 4 protagonist, are squandering our future and we meet Strife and he helps us, perhaps, with that? I mean, I would see maybe more with Barrett coming in to recruit us if we're squandering our future before and then we have our, a clear vision of our path ahead of us 
but strife is if strife is a companion is he an early game companion complacency so again you know complacency just complacent comfort you know maintaining things without seeking more knowledge and strife does something happen to strife to make him complacent or you know does he come in at a moment for the dragon age for protagonist blind faith he could be blindly following the faith of the elven people blindly following a specific evanurus and blind faith is what led the people astray in the sense that they were slaves to mages they called gods and they blindly followed them and the elves now have this blind faith towards the evanurus without understanding their full potential without truly understanding everything that lies in the past everything that is not yet knowledgeable that Solus knows that he hasn't revealed yet and is there also blind faith towards Solus the agents of Fenharel blindly following Solus without questioning his his resolve without questioning his motives or his conclusions you know no one saying is this really the best course of action is this really the best idea you know so blind faith there as well and so strife being in and around Aglathan forest Aglathan the place where it all took place so many years ago the place perhaps where the blind faith began maybe where it will be shattered emotional blockages well i can see that accompanying blind faith a emotional blockages you're devout to an evanurus and that can block the character from seeing you know the, the the blind faith but emotional blockages that would block potential understanding potential openness you know things like that foolishness i don't see strife acting foolishly necessarily but i do see the dragon age for protagonist acting foolishly and strife potentially steering us he can be the voice of reason because he's an older elf and so especially if he's a companion or for a mission steering us back to focus properly on the task at hand if the dragon age for protagonist is a little all over the place for that so that's kind of what i'm getting it's not the best reading i see it really either something happens to strife and gets him you know away from his path or he comes in at a time when the dragon age for protagonist needs a bit of redirecting or where strife goes all of this follows him around and we have to help him straighten things out you know help him with a kunari invasion help him with the clans or something so maybe free other elves free the captives of the kunari so but i definitely have hopes that strife will be in some fashion in dragon age 4 he seems a very interesting character let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think about strife what you think about this reading for strife and if you have not read to winter nights i highly recommend it all the short stories are really good and strife is in the first story three trees to midnight so definitely recommend like this video because now it's recorded if you like it subscribe to be to me approved and i'll see you all soon maseranas